Hello, I hope you are all doing fine. You might be fine by the grace of Allah and Almighty. Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim Once again, as we were in the previous video, we were discussing our statement of profit and loss or the real name for which is uh, income statement. So income statement actually summarizes firm's performance over a period of time, as I told you. And income statement, how we get the net, uh, the snapshot of revenue and expenses is your income statement. When you subtract all the expenses from the revenues, we get our net income or profit for the year or for the six month or whatever the number we have, uh, we are observing. So the income statement measures the performance over some period of time, usually a quarter, four months, six months or a year. So we are actually checking the performance of a firm for a complete year. The income statement equation is net income is equal to profit for the year, revenues minus expenses. And if you think of the statement of financial position as a snapshot, then you can think of income statement as a video recording covering the period before, uh, uh, the period between before and after the picture. This is uh, a complete uh, income statement for any company X, Y, Z, you can say. These are the income statement for the two years. You can say 2023 and 2024. So these are the revenue, 17,193. And revenue for 2024 was 16,481. Then the cost of the revenue would be minus and we get the gross profit, 11,181 and 10,695. And we also need to subtract the operating expenses. When we subtract the operating expenses, then we get the operating profit, which is 3,485 for 2023 and 3,429 for the year 2024. And if there are some interest paid, we will subtract the interest and our amount should be 3,204 and 3,177. And these are the profit actually before the taxes. And when we also pay the taxes, we get the profit for the whole year or the net income, which is we have, suppose we have 1,176 rupees of profit for 2023 and 1,152 rupees profit for 2024. After deducting the profit, we will get the net income. This net income actually giving us, and actually this is a net income when we make the income statement. At the end, whether we are having some net income in positive digits, like we have our, uh, we have in our, this example. So these are the profit. You can also say the profit. You can also call it the net income. Okay, let's move forward. There are some notes we need to consider. Profit for the year is the same as net income. But basically, profit and net, net income, these are the two substitutes for each other. In You can also call it net income or you can call it profit. So profit for the year is the same as a net income. Profit before interest and tax can also be seen in certain income statements that we like this one. Profit before tax and interest and EBIT. Earning before interest and taxes can also be seen, which is earning before interest and taxes. So our before interest and taxes, this is our earning. Okay, operating profit, which is called. Then contents of the income statement. What are the contents of the income statement? Let's see. The first thing reported in an income statement would usually be revenue and expenses from the firm's principal operations. We are actually getting we are getting the information about the expenses, the taxes, the interest, the other expenses. So we are actually getting the information about the firm's expenses and the revenues. Then what we are getting, subsequent part include, among other things, financing expenses such as interest paid. Okay, these are the expenses. Interest, as you know, interest is one of the main expenses that most of the companies, they have to pay. Then taxes are reported separately as well, for example, the taxes 
paid they are if sometimes they are not included in the income statement they are reported separately but in the most of the income statement taxes are also reported the last item to be included is net income so called the both line the last item that we also uh, saw in our uh, that was a net income in our example that was the net income and the net income is often expressed on per share basis and called earning per share sometimes net income is expressed on the basis of the shares your company is also dealing in the share and that is called earning per share so net income is expressed on the basis of per shares on the basis of the shares basically so that is called earning per share and important what important considerations we need we need to keep in our mind are when looking at an income statement the financial manager need to keep two main things in mind which are internal accounting standards and cash versus not non cash items let's see what are these internal accounting standards and the income statement an income statement prepared using ies will show the revenue when it occurs which is not necessarily when the cash comes in it's saying that revenue is recognized when it has occurred it's not important all the time when cash is coming and you are actually uh, considering the revenue it is not the case all the time the general rule this is called recognition principle or the realization principle is to recognize revenue when the earning process is virtually complete and the value of an exchange of good or service is known or can be readily determined when you are well aware that transaction is going to happen and you recognize that revenue will definitely come into the business so you actually mark the revenue you record the revenue in the books this is according to the recognition principle in practice this principle usually means that revenue is recognized at the time of sale which need not to be the same as the time of collection when sale is happening you are actually it says when sale is happening you are actually uh, recording the revenue in your books maybe you will get money or you will get the cash after few days you are selling it on credit but recognition principle says when the sale is complete you have to recognize the revenue and there is another principle which is called matching principle which is uh, slightly different from the recognition principle it says expenses shown on the income statement are based on matching principle revenues are based on recognition principle and expenses are based on matching principle the basic idea here is to first determine the revenue and describe previously and then match those revenues with the cost associated with the cost of producing them says like you are you are earning revenue you are determining the revenue and you have to determine the cost how much cost you have to incur so if we manufacture product and then sell it on credit the revenue is realized at the time of sale right we are we are actually selling the product we are manufacturing a product then we are selling it on credit and we are recording the revenue in our books so if we manufacture a product and then sell it on credit the revenue is realized at the time of sale so when revenue will be re realized when that product is sold the production and other cost associated with the sale of the product will likewise be recognized at that time okay as a result of the way of revenue and expenses are realized figures show on how income statement may not be all representative of actual cash inflows and outflows that occur during a particular period of time because these are two principles matching principle and revenue recognition principle on the basis of those principles you have to recognize the revenue i hope things are clarified in your mind in the next video we will discuss about non cash items so uh, i will stop my lecture here i will just like uh, the routine matter i will once again request you to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it this channel will be very helpful for you if you are student of business finance or if you are doing bba or mba or some other degrees related to business finance 
सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम फी अमान